Ever wondered why some people seem to effortlessly connect with others? Their secret is effective communication. In a world where we are constantly connected, it's surprising how often we struggle to truly communicate. The key to bridging this gap is clear expression and active listening. Clear expression involves articulating your thoughts and feelings in an understandable, respectful, and confident manner. This doesn't mean you have to be a wordsmith, but rather, it's about being honest, direct, and thoughtful in your communication. On the other side of the communication coin is active listening. It's not just about hearing the words that are said, but understanding the message behind them. Active listening involves paying full attention, interpreting nonverbal cues, and providing feedback to confirm understanding. It's about being present in the conversation and showing genuine interest in the other person's perspective. Now, even with the best communication skills, conflicts are inevitable in any social interaction. But don't worry, effective communication techniques also provide strategies for conflict resolution. These strategies include staying calm, focusing on the issue at hand, seeking to understand the other person's point of view, and finding a compromise that respects everyone's needs and feelings. But why does all this matter? Well, effective communication is the foundation of healthy relationships and successful social interactions. It allows us to express ourselves, understand others, resolve conflicts, and build stronger connections. It's essential in both our personal and professional lives, helping us to navigate diverse social situations with ease. So next time you're in a conversation, remember to express yourself clearly and listen actively. And when conflicts arise, approach them with understanding and seek a resolution that respects all parties involved. These skills won't just improve your communication, they'll enhance your relationships and your overall social experience. Remember, communication isn't just about speaking, it's about listening, understanding, and responding effectively. Are you constantly running against the clock? It's time to learn some time management and productivity hacks. Let's start with setting clear goals. Whether it's a long-term aspiration or a simple task for the day, knowing precisely what you want to accomplish is the first step to effective time management. Once your goals are set, prioritize them. Remember, not all tasks are created equal. Some are more critical or time-sensitive than others. Prioritizing helps you focus your energy where it counts the most. Now let's talk about daily routines. Optimizing your routines can significantly boost your productivity and efficiency. Consider starting your day with the most challenging tasks when your energy is at its peak. And don't forget to take regular breaks to recharge. Remember, being productive isn't about being busy all the time. It's about working smarter, not harder. By managing your time wisely, you can turn your aspirations into achievements. Did you know emotional intelligence can be a key determinant to personal and professional success? It all starts with self-awareness. This is the ability to recognize and understand our own emotions, their triggers, and how they affect our thoughts and behavior. It's about knowing our strengths and weaknesses, and having a clear perception of our worth and capabilities. Next, we have emotion regulation. This involves the ability to manage our emotions in healthy ways, take initiative, follow through on commitments, and adapt to changing circumstances. But emotional intelligence doesn't stop with us. It extends to understanding the emotions of others. This is where empathy comes into play. It's about recognizing, understanding, and sharing the feelings of others, enabling us to connect on a deeper level. Lastly, resilience is the ability to bounce back from adversity, trauma, or stress. It's about navigating through difficulties, learning from them, and coming out stronger on the other side. Emotional intelligence isn't just about understanding your emotions. It's about managing them to foster healthy relationships and personal growth. Are you in control of your money or is your money controlling you? Let's talk about financial literacy and money management. Financial literacy is the ability to understand and utilize various financial skills, including personal financial management, budgeting, and investing. It's not just about earning money, it's about knowing how to manage it, how to budget, how to save, and how to invest. Budgeting is the cornerstone of any sound financial plan. It's about understanding where your money goes and making conscious decisions about how to allocate it. It's about distinguishing between needs and wants and making sure your income covers your expenses. Saving is another crucial skill. It's about setting aside a portion of your income for future use, whether it's for an emergency fund, a down payment on a house, or a dream vacation. Saving gives you financial security and peace of mind. Then there's investing, which is about growing your wealth over time. It's about understanding different types of investments, 
from stocks and bonds to real estate and mutual funds, and making informed decisions based on your risk tolerance and financial goals. And finally, there's debt management. It's about understanding the cost of borrowing, knowing how to manage your credit, and having a plan to pay off your debts. It's about making sure your debts don't spiral out of control and threaten your financial stability. These skills can help you make informed financial decisions. They can help you set financial goals, create a plan to achieve them, and secure your financial future. They can give you the confidence to navigate financial challenges, seize financial opportunities, and live a life of financial freedom. But financial literacy isn't just about knowing these skills. It's about applying them. It's about making a budget and sticking to it, saving consistently, investing wisely, and managing your debts effectively. It's about taking control of your money, rather than letting your money control you. Remember, financial literacy isn't just about making money, it's about managing money to secure your financial future. Are you a lifelong learner? If not, it's time to embrace continuous learning and personal growth. The world we live in is ever-changing with new technologies, ideas, and discoveries emerging every day. To keep up with this rapid pace of change we need to adopt a mindset of continuous learning. This means consistently seeking out new knowledge, skills and experiences that can help us grow and adapt. Think of yourself as a vessel that can always be filled with more insights, more wisdom. It's not just about learning for the sake of learning but about gaining knowledge that can be applied in real-world scenarios, that can help you solve problems, make better decisions, and lead a more fulfilling life. But how can we make continuous learning a part of our everyday lives? One way is by cultivating curiosity. Be inquisitive, ask questions, and seek to understand the world around you. Another way is by embracing challenges as opportunities for growth. Don't shy away from tasks that seem difficult or intimidating. Instead, see them as chances to expand your capabilities and discover new strengths. Remember, personal growth doesn't always come from comfort zones. It often comes from stepping into the unknown and trying something new. This could be learning a new language, picking up a musical instrument or even exploring a new field of study. Every new skill you acquire adds a new dimension to your character and enhances your understanding of the world. Furthermore, continuous learning can lead to personal enrichment. It can boost your self-confidence, improve your adaptability, and increase your resilience. It can also open doors to new opportunities whether in your career or personal life. So, make a commitment to lifelong learning. Seek out new knowledge, embrace challenges, and continually strive to grow and improve. This is not just about acquiring new skills or expanding your knowledge. It's about becoming a better version of yourself every single day. Remember, the pursuit of knowledge doesn't stop after school. Lifelong learning is the key to personal and professional development. Are you building bridges or walls? Let's talk about the art of building strong relationships and networks. In our interconnected world, the ability to build and maintain relationships is not just a social skill, it's a survival skill. Whether in your personal or professional life, connections matter. It's not just about who you know, but more importantly, who knows you and what you bring to the table. Let's start with networking. Many people cringe at the thought of networking, imagining forced conversations at stuffy business events. But it doesn't have to be that way. Networking is simply about making connections and building mutually beneficial relationships. It's about being curious, open-minded, and interested in others. It's about asking questions, listening, and learning. Now, let's move on to collaboration. Collaboration is all about teamwork and leveraging the collective intelligence of a group. It's about understanding that we is more potent than I. It's about bringing different perspectives together, fostering creativity, and achieving common goals. So, how do we foster genuine connections? It starts with authenticity. Be yourself, and let others see the real you. Share your passions, your dreams, and even your vulnerabilities. Genuine connections are built on shared experiences and mutual respect. Next, remember that relationships are a two-way street. They require give and take. Be willing to offer assistance, provide value, and support others in their endeavors. In return, you'll find that people are more likely to lend you a hand when you need it. Lastly, consistency is key. Relationships take time to build and require consistent effort to maintain. Keep in touch, show interest, and be there for the people in your network. It's also important to keep in mind that not all relationships will be deep and close-knit. And that's okay. Having a wide range of connections can provide different perspectives, opportunities, and resources. Remember, the strength of your network can often determine the height of your success. So, keep building those bridges. After all, success is rarely a solo journey. It's a collective effort, powered by strong relationships and networks.